Okay, in this little video, I want to talk about the suffixes uh, "-ite", "-ite", and "-ate". And if you can understand this, it's going to help you big time in working out some formulas. So, let's have a look at some common names here. So, we have, up the top here, silver bromide. So, what does that "-ite", tell you? Copper sulfate, sodium chloride, right, magnesium sulfite. Carbonate, calcium carbonate, and sodium chloride. So what do the ides, ites, and eights mean? Well, let's look at a good example here. Okay, we have sulfide, sulfite, and sulfate. So the sulf tells you that all of them contain sulfur. Hmm. But what does everything else mean? Well, let's look at the formulas. So sulfide is S2 minus. Sulfite is SO3 2 minus. And sulfate, well actually that should be SO4. What's going on? Oh no, that's right. No, SO3 2 minus. And the sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Do you see a pattern yet? Okay, well let's reveal it. Okay, so what does ide mean? Ide. That's the big question. Well, let's reveal. Whoa. Let's not reveal that way. Let's reveal this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you see ide in the name, it means that the element is mo a monoatomic ion. It's by itself. So basically, in this case, it's just sulfur, and then you would go to the periodic table and work out that its charge is 2 minus. So sulfide, ide, means it's by itself. Now, what does the ite and eight mean? Well, they mean, it means that the sulfur is not by itself. It's bonded, that these are polyatomic ions, and they're bonded with oxygens. So it and eight means that the ion contains oxygen. Now the annoying thing is it doesn't tell you how many oxygens. Let's just see if we can get rid of this little thing. Ah, there we go. So what it means over here is it just means that you have less oxygen than eight. So if you have memorized sulfate, which you should have, you will know that sulfate has four oxygens and a minus two charge. So using this logic, if we know that eight is one more oxygen than it, therefore sulfite must be SO3. And the charge won't change. It'll be 2 minus. So let's look um, at this again. Why do I still have here? So let's just reveal. Yeah. So I'd sulfur by itself. Sulfite is SO3, 2 minus. Sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. So let's look at some examples here. What would we call these? OK, so here's the nitrogen by itself. So we would call this. Calcium nitride. Okay. Now these two, okay, they both have nitrogen bonded. So here is the polyatomic iron part of the formula. Um, one has more oxygen than the other, so they're all going to be calcium something. So this has less oxygen, so this should be calcium. nitrite, and this one should be, whoa, man, I've got some pen issues this morning, uh, calcium nitrate. And let's see if I reveal this, whether I am correct. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So hopefully that's going to be uh, enough to remember the difference between it, it, and eight. And we are going to ignore this page. Uh, and so that's it for this little video.